Previously on History of Tarkin. We took a look at Tarkin 3. Without Manfred Trenz, the series creator, the game was a wholly different animal. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to History of Tarkin. <laughs> On this episode, we'll be looking at three different games. Firstly, Super Terrican on the NES, and then the Super Terrican series on the SNES. Turrican comes to Nintendo. Manfred Trenz single-handedly made every bit of this game. Now, as a game designer and coder, Trenz is second to none. As a graphic designer, he's acquitted himself well here. As a musician, however, I'm less impressed. Nevertheless, the game has some genuinely difficult moments and brings the feel of the classic series to the Nintendo faithful. The team at Factor 5, most of whom worked with Trends on the classic series, have captured the essence of Terrican with this version. The levels are large and varied, the graphics crisp and the backgrounds colourful. Also, Jules Beck's score from Terrican 3, alongside some newer compositions, really helps to give the game a real feel of Terrican. And while the button combinations take some getting used to for a one-button computer gamer like me, console diehards will take to it like a duck to water. This, then, is the real Turrican 3 in all but name. If you want to call yourself an old-school console gamer, you need this in your collection. And they were doing so well, too. This... It's a disappointing sequel. Super Terrican 2 loses 90% of what made Super Terrican 1 so very special. The graphical style is radically different, the grappling hook makes another appearance, and the levels are smaller, more linear affairs. However, there are flashes of Hulesbeck's brilliance in the score, and the control system may be more forgiving to old school console fans. Ultimately, this sequel is too far removed from the conventions of the classic series. However, as a game in itself, it's still quite enjoyable, and it's available now on Wii Virtual Console. Now, whatever I've said about these games, they're still better than <sighs> Universal Soldier, and we'll get to that next time. We've put it off long enough. Join me next episode as we dig into the sordid chapter of Turrican history that the Money Men saw fit to name Universal Soldier. <laughs>